Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and today we are doing another installment of my plant aesthetics series and this time we are going to be going over the dark witchy aesthetic. This aesthetic is so much fun and perfect for the upcoming season and I have everything from furniture to plants to accessories. And speaking of accessories, did anybody notice that I have new glasses? So these glasses are from Glasses USA. I'm so excited that they're sponsoring this video. Glasses start at just $39, which is up to 70% off of retail prices, and they carry awesome brands like Gucci, Ray-Ban, Oakley, and so much more. If you love the frames I'm about to show you, there is a crazy exclusive offer that is being offered to my followers, so you can click the link in the description box below to figure out what that is. I really love tortoiseshell glasses, and I'm so happy to be back into that. I also made sure to get glasses with blue light protection. Blue light glasses are ideal for protecting your eyes, you know, work, home, outdoors, wherever you are. When you use blue light glasses, during screen time, it helps to reduce eye strain, it decreases headaches, improves your sleep, and increases productivity. And just so you know that you're making the right decision, they also offer a virtual try-on feature on their website so that you can see what the frames look like on your face live. Glasses USA also has sunglasses. So this pair right here is from their Save the Tortoises collection. Together with the American Tortoise Rescue Foundation, they created a unique eyewear collection uh, with eyeglasses and sunglasses that takes inspiration from endangered tortoises and up to 10% of the proceeds are being donated to the foundation. I just absolutely love a blonde tortoise shell. I think it's so pretty. So if you're interested in updating your eyewear anytime soon, definitely check out Glasses USA. For the next 24 hours, I will have an exclusive discount in addition to any other coupon and discounts you can find. And it's just for the next 24 hours and just for my followers. So definitely check it out in the link in the description box below. Thank you so much to Glasses USA for sponsoring this video. And let's get into talking about this really fun plant aesthetic. So first of all, I wanna look at the elements of this aesthetic because dark witchy is pretty much my best description for it, but you might call it something different. Some elements that I noticed as I was researching this is dark colored paint, dark wood or rich saturated colors. So there's lots of dark greens, dark purples and things like that. The furniture pieces are oftentimes very ornate, which is awesome because you can find a lot of ornate furniture thrifting or on marketplace. For his accessories, I saw a lot of skulls, moons, like moon phases and things like that. Taxidermy was a big one, like especially in the realm of like uh, butterflies and things like that. Uh, purple grow lights and terrariums. And then as far as the plants go, of course, we're looking at the dark leaves. And then I feel like carnivorous plants is a perfect fit for this genre because they do really well in a terrarium setting. So here are some photos that I found throughout my research process that sort of informed the list that I just made. So what we're seeing in this first one is lots of ornate pieces. So you have like an ornate clock and some like gold ornate candlesticks. There are also some darker leaves plants so we have a philodendron florida i'm assuming maybe it's yeah it's a it's a some version of philodendron florida the leaves on that plant do tend to be pretty dark but i think they're reflecting even darker just with it being like a darker photo in general and then up in the top corner i don't know exactly what that is it's kind of giving me philodendron brantiatum vibes because i see some possible variegation maybe it is a syndapsis ex pictus exotica I'm not quite sure, um, but what we're also seeing is some ornate frames. So all of these things are really easy to find thrifting, which is great. So if you're just wanting to add in some of these elements, sometimes it's really easy to do that. This one is cool because it has some vines like pinned up to the wall. I think that's so fun when people do that. It makes it sort of a nightmare in my mind for watering, but if you're happy to water in, in place and not move the plant every time it needs to be watered, I think this would be a really great one. Also something that I'm seeing in this photo specifically is these old like reference books or just like older books in general. I think that's so pretty. I love when plant shelves, like when you're styling a plant shelf, I love when it has multiple elements so it's not just plants. I feel like books and candles are a really great addition to a plant shelf. Also in the realm of this specific category, 
crystals are a really, really great addition. Moving on down, we're seeing more of these ornate frames. This is really cool. I love this like collage of different ornate frames and then plants among the frames. Actually, you could probably do something like this really easily with the plant hooks that I use for my plant wall. I saw somebody, um, her name is Gail, a couple years ago who actually inspired me to get the plant hooks that I use. Um, she would actually frame plants inside of an empty ornate frame. She'd put the plant hook right in the middle and then put an ornate frame around it and it looked like the plant was art. And I just thought that was so beautiful and it really was a huge inspiration for my plant wall. And this second photo leans a little boho, like kind of like maximalist, but I really liked how this sort of converges multiple styles in one so that you can sort of see how these all interact with each other because it doesn't have to be like very strongly one aesthetic. You can have multiple in one room, in one house, and I think it's really cool. So this one has some pretty cool furniture that's a little bit more boho with a boho macrame, but I feel like everything else is pretty dark academia witchy vibes. Okay, this is a really great example of a shelf that has lots of fun elements that is not just plants. So we have again another ornate clock. I feel like I need an ornate clock for my Halloween decor. Like I just think that is so beautiful. It's just, yeah, I love it. And then we're also seeing some like taxidermy butterflies. When I was asking around for accounts that you guys follow who have this vibe, a lot of people recommended Brie from Plant Girl 50 or Plant Girl, Plant Girl underscore 50. And I just love, love how her house like looks and feels. I've never been in her house, but I love the way that it feels. In this photo specifically, we have a really beautiful ornate cabinet and then a typewriter. I would have never really think to include a typewriter into my plant displays, but that is so cool. We have some taxidermy butterflies. And then in general, we have a lot of dark foliage plants. We do have a philodendron ghost, I think that is, Florida ghost. Um, but otherwise, all of these leaves are very dark and I do love this pop of light color because it adds some contrast. As I did in my boho video, I did some shopping and I found a bunch of products that you can either buy these direct products from these people. I did most of my shopping on Etsy. Um, or you can find something thrifting or secondhand just on Marketplace or anything like that. So I really recommend specifically for this aesthetic to find things secondhand because it is leaning into a lot of like the ornate vintage pieces and those are very easy to find secondhand. But I did find this really awesome Etsy store called Alchemist Storage and they had a couple of pieces that would be really great for plants. One of them being this Gothic shelf this is so cool like i love this and i love that they have styled it with plants and crystals and candles and i feel like that is exactly what we're going for here if you check out their etsy shop i'll have it linked down below they have a ton of stuff that look very similar to this and i have one other thing from them a little bit further down in the video okay going back to our inspo photos this uh, wall candle holder, this one's very cool because I feel like you could put a small plant on it if you didn't want to have a candle that close to your wall. I've heard mixed reviews about having candles very close to your wall. I mean, I know they used to do that like in older times, but I don't know how that would work now. Like I feel like I'd be so scared to leave a live candle in a room that I'm not in, especially so close to the wall. Anyway, <laughs> um, this one's really cool. It has a little bit of a base to it. So I feel like you could easily put like a four inch plant on that. And it'd be so cool if it was like a trailing plant. And again, something you could probably find thrifting, antiquing, all of these things. And if not, you know, there's lots of options like this on Etsy. This was a really awesome wall shelf I found. Again, any ornate piece is gonna be great. I love this one because it's black, it looks really nice contrasted against this lighter wall but if you have like a dark green wall or a dark red wall or anything like that i think it would look so good and this one has a little bit more length to it so you could probably put like a good sized plant and then maybe some like candles and crystals or whatever else you wanted to put on your shelf now on to cabinets which this cabinet that i found from crate and barrel is probably one of my favorite furniture pieces i've ever found like someday <laughs> if 
ever I had this aesthetic more in my home, I would definitely lean more towards things like this. This is so beautiful. This is a metal cabinet. So it's like metal and glass, very similar to the Millsbo. So that's what people use for the Ikea greenhouse cabinet, which by the way, the Ikea greenhouse cabinet comes in black. And if you have this aesthetic, I think that's perfect. Wild Fern, I think very much so leans more towards this aesthetic. Like I also took some inspiration from her style for this video. So if you don't know who Wild Fern is, Fern is another plant YouTuber who has really awesome style. And if you like any of this, you will definitely like her aesthetic. So check her out if you haven't already. But she has the uh, black Millsbo cabinet and I think another black cabinet from Ikea. And it's just so beautiful. I think it's just a wonderful way to have a more traditional plant piece while keeping it in the aesthetic. So anyway, I just did a quick Google search of ornate display cabinet and I found this one by Crate and Barrel. It's the Ventana Black Glass Display Storage Cabinet. And based on the description, it says it's metal and glass and those shelves are wood. So if you were to use this, I would suggest in a high humidity situation, not having wood shelves in there unless you're willing to like maybe do an additional layer of sealant or just keep an eye on it. I don't know. I just, I'm hesitant to use something like wood in a high humidity, like closed situation. However, if you weren't wanting to ramp up the humidity a big amount and you just wanted to use it as a display cabinet, it's so beautiful and it kind of leans coffin, which I think is a little fun for this aesthetic. I just think it's so beautiful and it kind of almost also looks like a cathedral window. It's so beautiful. It's a little cashy, <laughs> I'll admit, but it's very beautiful. Okay, so this is a screen recording of just the search ornate display cabinet on my local marketplace and my internet is buffering. And I was able to find so many wonderful things just doing this. For some reason on my phone, it said that there wasn't anything near me, but on my computer, there was a lot of other things. But yeah, so you can just see there's a lot of ornate cabinets and accessories. Like there's like a window and some doors. Um, I just think that those are really fun and would be really cool to add into your decor. Like thinking like a, this like little stained glass window would be kind of pretty, like, I don't know, it's kind of unique and different. And I think it'd be cool. Um, integrated into your design aesthetic if you like this one specifically. So now on to pottery and accessories for your plants. So pottery, I feel like for this one, it can go either way. Like you can incorporate terracotta, you can incorporate just like cash pose that you like, like some black cash pose or some like deep colors. I feel like it's whatever you feel looks good. And I did find some specifically that I wanted to show you because I thought they were really awesome. I was leaning into more of the like crystals vibe when I was researching for the pottery. And I found these two planters. Now, as you can see from the dates, I was looking at this in June. I don't know if these are still available. If they are, I'll link them down below. And if they're not, I will find something very similar. But you can definitely check out these um, Etsy shops, Lex Modern and Desert Stardust Jewel. I mean, really awesome stuff for both of them. I, I was leaning a little bit into the like skulls and taxidermy in finding this air plant display. So this is vertebrae and I don't know what animal it is, but it is vertebrae and I'm pretty sure it's real. So something to think about if, I, if you don't like that, you could probably find like a resin poured version that's not real. But in any case, it's really cool to display some air plants. I think air plants are really cool for this aesthetic. I'm actually gonna add that to the list when I talk about plants later, making a mental note. And if I don't mention it, just remember that I mentioned it here. <laughs> but I just think that's really cool. They look kind of funky and you can put these and like tuck them in in certain parts of your shelves and not have to worry so much about them. I've never had great success with air plants, but I love the way that they look. I think that if you found some pretty realistic ones, no one would ever know or care. The other accessories that I found really lean into the crystals. And so I found like lots of like, kind of like plant earrings, like little things that you like hang off of your plants to just accessorize with them. So this is a plant charm right here. I thought that was really cool. It says that it includes snake vertebrae. So that's kind of interesting. I don't really know like where that would be. I guess maybe these white 
pieces would be the snake vertebrae. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. Moving down, both of these are so awesome. These crystals right here from uh, Botanical Brunette are so cool. And then this Sun and Moon houseplant charm is really pretty. I just thought that was so cool. And then we went on to some trellises, which I kind of just went down a rabbit hole and included a lot of things in this section. So I hope that you <laughs> like this kind of stuff too. But I thought that both of these were really pretty because there's a crystal like right at the center and the light like falls through it and it looks really beautiful specifically for this one on the right side. I do not know if I could pronounce that shop name off the top of my head but it's really really pretty and i think this is such an easy thing to add into your plants like i feel like little things like this is what makes the plant aesthetic pop out because if you just have a bunch of plants lined up on a shelf you know you could put some books in there but like these little accessories are so fun lastly for plant displays I think that Wardian cases are so, so perfect for this. I mean, really, you couldn't get any better. And if you have like a, a corner and like a spot that you could dedicate to this, that would be so beautiful. All of these are from H. Potter, and I don't know what that is, but as like all of the research I was doing on Wardian cases, 90% of the results was H. Potter. So either they have like a monopoly or they're really good at Google ads. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but they sell them from their own website and they also sell them on Amazon. So I'll have it linked down below if you're interested. And then if you don't like this more like ornate case terrarium look, I also found this one right here that is like a just like a more traditional shaped terrarium with a little wood stopper. I do worry about the wood stopper getting moldy because terrariums can get pretty humid. And you know, I always wondered why terrariums always display with like cactus and succulents because I don't think that they would really like that. I don't know. I've I've not really done that before but i just in my mind they wouldn't want all of that humidity but hey this one has more like ferns and stuff like that and i think that's a little bit better as far as plants to put into these and lastly for plant displays we have these beaker glass tubes and i got these from cb2 so this is something this is a photo from my own home if you couldn't tell but yeah these are super fun and i just use like a very small nail to hang them up because they don't hold that much water so they're not very heavy but they are a lot bigger than i thought they would be so they can hold like a good size cutting as you can see there's like a full-on fiddle leaf fig like top cutting in here and i think like adding that in like with the ornate gold frames would be so fun and just like the perfect way to display something cute like that and make it feel like a moment and then i mentioned earlier that there was one more item from the alchemist storage etsy shop and it's this like cathedral like beaker propagation station i thought this was so cool we see like propagation stations that are just wood and the glass and i thought this one was so much fun because it really leans into this theme so i think it would be so pretty on your shelves or your counter or wherever you choose to put this as far as other decor there is this book it's called plantipedia and just the cover alone is very perfect for this it's dark it features a dark leaf plant it's beautiful so i think this would be a really great addition to your dark witchy aesthetic plant room or whatever you're decorating uh, just to put on like the coffee table or something like that and then i wanted to quickly show you a search that i did for ornate gold mirror on marketplace so you can see there's so many options and this is just in my town i don't live in a big town so it's pretty cool that there are so many options here and again thrifting stuff like this is very easy i thrift like ornate frames all the time it's very 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 easy to find them we're going to finish up by talking about the plants that you should research and look into possibly try to find out shopping if this aesthetic really speaks to you and i focused on plants that kind of maybe have a little bit of a unique look or have just dark foliage so first of all we have the philodendron black cherry I have to admit it's pretty similar to the pink princess but it has a bit more of a dark green on it so it doesn't lean like too bright and i think it's really cool so if you're looking into the pink princess maybe look into the well is it any different i'm i'm second guessing myself maybe it's just like a variant of the pink princess i don't know 
Next up, we have the Dark Desire Wandering Dude. This one's fun because as you can see, it's a trailing plant, so it has really nice vines. This is a really great like feature for this aesthetic. I just think that like, well, trailing plants look good in any aesthetic to be honest, but I really like it for this one specifically with that really dark foliage. Of course, the Philodendron Micans is like a classic dark leaf plant. This one is so easy. It's basically a pothos with like a velvet coat on. Like it's super fun and easy. Well, I guess I shouldn't say a pothos with a velvet coat. It's more like a Hartley Philodendron with a velvet coat, okay? <laughs> the Lemon Lime Maranta is also really cool. I feel like the the markings on the leaves kind of looks like a rib cage like that's kind of what it reminds me of and i kind of yeah i thought that would be really cool for this aesthetic we also have the raven's easy which i have actually displayed here that was a last minute choice i was like wait a minute i have a raven i should put it in the video <laughs> That one has such dark green foliage that it actually looks black. They used to be super hard to find, but now I feel like any grocery store or big box store would have them. Carnivorous plants, just any of them. There's so many varieties and I personally have never had one and that is because you have to water them with distilled water and they need very high humidity. That's a bit too much for me. To be honest, that's a big commitment for me and I'm not willing to give that to a plant, so I've never had one. Okay, if you're brave and you want to venture into Calathea, the Calathea Dotty is very beautiful. It has very, very dark leaves with like a purple pinstripe on it. And as I mentioned earlier, purple is like a fun pop of color to add in for this aesthetic. And I just think this would be so pretty. It's a Calathea, so you know, proceed with caution. <laughs> but I think it's really beautiful and would be perfect for this. The Philodendron Black Cardinal is another like dark leaf philodendron. The Black Velvet Alocasia is also really cool. It has nice dark green foliage with white veins on it and it's just awesome. I love seeing this plant, like when people have like big ones. I'm going to call out the Amedrium Spider-Man plant. That is the Amedrium that has like very intricate webbing and veining on the leaves. I think this is so cool. I feel like Amedrium in general would be a great choice for this aesthetic because they just kind of look a little bit funky. And I think funky plants, especially with like interesting texture, are awesome for this. So any Amedrium, to be honest, but the Spider-Man plant is really cool. If you like Anthurium, the Anthurium clarinervium has a really nice dark leaf to it as well. It's almost like black. It's very, very dark green with that bright veining and it's a really nice contrast. And then the Alocasia Regal Shield is awesome. The Alocasia Black Velvet is a hybrid of the Regal Shields. I don't remember what it's crossed with, but it comes from the Regal Shields, which is a really big Alocasia with big, big dark leaves. So that would definitely be a big statement. Next up, we have the Alocasia Cupria Red Secret. Now, listen, these plants are so cool. The Cuprias just like are so beautiful. The Red Secret has like a red tint to it and it's so beautiful. I feel like that's like kind of like vampire-y vibes, which kind of leans into this aesthetic a little bit. I think it's just really fun. And then of course you have jewel orchids, which typically live in closed environments. So these would be perfect like as a choice for the Wardian cases or anything like that. All right, you guys, and that is going to be the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this deep dive into the plant aesthetic that is dark and witchy vibes. Again, I don't know exactly what to call it, but that is what seems the most right. So tell me what you would call this aesthetic. I'm thinking like dark academia, but it's not academia it, it kind of is with the books but like it's halloween dark academia but not halloween because people decorate their houses like this year round and i think it's amazing so i don't know it's like the opposite the the dark version of whatever the aesthetic of <gasps> what's that movie what's that movie with sandra something practical magic Oh my gosh. I feel like this aesthetic is like the dark version of the practical magic decor because practical magic is goals, but it's very like airy and bright, right? This is a little bit darker than that, but in, within the same realm of feel, I don't know. So anyway, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a like and share it with a planty friend. I'm so excited to hear what you guys think about this aesthetic. And if you specifically decorate your home this way, I would also love to hear from you in the comments below if there's anything that I missed, any specific decor pieces or accessories or plants that you have that you feel 
go really well with this. I would just love to hear from you. Uh, so anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much to Glasses USA for sponsoring. You can check them out in the description box below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.